This tutorial is designed to help you with your visuals for um, the B1 tech concept on digital audio. So what we have here is we've identified five different forms of digital audio that we use in our daily lives. Um, now maybe you don't use all of them, but they're all ones that you need to be familiar with. So when we think about the uh, cell phone, what they mean by cell phone, tel telephony, is the idea that you speak into your cell phone, that you talk on your cell phone. Now a lot of us use cell phones to communicate with text and some other things, but uh, the basis of the cell phone still is to be able to speak to somebody uh, in real time and talk to them over the air. Uh, excuse me, over the phone connection, okay? So cell phone, tel telephony, uh, that's what that means, being able to use a cell phone as a telephone. Uh, podcasts, um, you know, those are the basically the idea of taking content that we would post online, whether it be a blog or whether it be a website or a web page, lots of information. Uh, but, uh, but also uh, podcasts have kind of morphed into this thing where it is kind of an on-air talk show type of thing that's recorded. So a podcast is a recording of things uh, that people talk about online, whether maybe they typed them out before, but now we can put it into voice, and that's an audio file. Uh, audio books, basically taking a book and speaking it uh, into an audio um, digital file and uh, instead of having to read it we can listen to it because the book is being read to us on an audio file uh, digital audio video there i put youtube down there because um, basically what we're talking about there is that with most of all video that we have um, on the web there is audio embedded into it so uh, i think it's important to note that while video um, is um, something that we use quite a bit Audio is a big part of that. Very rarely do we have silent video online. Audio uh, definitely accompanies that. It's a big part of that experience. Whereas we do have a lot of audio files online, digital audio files, that have no video. So it's kind of an interesting uh, mix there. And then, of course, digital music. So, uh, you know, we all like to listen to, to our iPods or our music on our cell phones and that sort of thing. So anyway, so there's those, those different forms of digital audio. Now, uh, as far as getting the images for these, the one thing I wanted to point out here real quick, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time searching these, but I wanted to show you what I did do. Uh, for example, uh, for, for like audio books, I looked up Amazon audio. Now, if you want to go with like a picture of like a, um, um, a book reader, and a lot of these book readers, what they can do is they can also play the book in audio format and plug uh, headphones in. You can use whatever visual you want here. You don't have to use the ones I use. Okay, but I looked like I, I did some different searches. I just look up audiobook. I looked up Amazon because Amazon's one of those online um, companies that, um, you know, our, their start anyway was to the, the idea of digital books and audiobooks. So I searched them here. For digital music, instead of searching digital music, you can probably guess what I probably searched. I searched iTunes here. Um, and search it that way. Now I want to show you something here. If you notice on my um, on my screen here, uh, I have the search tools open. You click the search tool button, okay? And what I need to make sure that I do here now when I go to search things, uh, by default it's set to on the search tools under usage rights is set to no filter. What we have to start doing though is we have to start filtering images um, by what we are um, what is okay for us to use legally, okay? Now, for school use, pretty much you can use whatever you want, but we need to start thinking about the idea of using things um, uh, that we find online uh, and making sure there are things that are okay for us to use. So you notice down here there's a bunch of different settings. We'll talk about these later, uh, but they kind of filter it in different ways. Um, so it says label for reuse with modification, label for use, label for non-commercial reuse with modification, label for non-commercial reuse. And you can use any of these right now. Um, we'll talk about what they mean later on. I kind of just go label to, for reuse right now. And I'm looking for images that I want to be able to use um, with, you know, that are okay for me to use. So, for example, I could use this one here. Now, if you want to search by reuse modification, it's up to you. Um, but, you know, you just kind of search one of those ones where it's a reuse situation. So, if you want to use one of these, a lot of people use this one. I used this one here. You can just click on it 
And of course, just take it and drag and drop it over here for your image, and there's mine down there. So as you go through these now, uh, feel free to, you know, like I said, search it with, in different ways. Like you might just go for a YouTube um, image here, but make sure when you do your search that you do go to search tools and you go to labeled for non-commercial reuse, one of those or one of those labeled for reuse settings there, and filter it by that. And it, like I said, we'll talk more about this idea later on um, with some of our um, digital etiquette um, things that we'll talk about and, and digital citizenship. But for right now, I just want you to get used to doing that. Make sure you're using one of the reuse um, settings there um, so that um, you know we're making sure we're kind of checking ourselves and how we're using our images. So take a few minutes, do some searches for images here. This is what you want to end up with. Again, you don't have to my images, okay? But come up with some items uh, that help remind you of what these video audio categories are, uh, these five, um, and um, you know, you'll be good to go. But again, you don't have to use my images, come up with your own, but do some searches here. If you're having trouble with the searches and, and what to type in, let me know and I'll come around and, and help you. Okay? So good luck with this assignment. Um, notice also that this is actually your, um, I mentioned assignment, this will be what you need to turn in for the B1 assignment, just a screenshot of what you complete here. Check out the assignment um, information and Edmodo uh, for more details.